Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So you might recognize this sim. This here is Kate. She is the sim we used for the video where I made my sim live in the real world by basically using a load of mods that are intended to make the sims 4 as realistic as possible. And if you watched that video, you don't have to, it doesn't necessarily follow on that much from that video, but basically Kate went on a few dates before scoring with this guy, Osamu, who has now decided to take the life of a fireplace and he just wants to be a fireplace now. They went on a date, things went pretty well, they ended up woohooing, and now we're meeting up with them a little bit later in life. They're actually together. They're engaged. They've been together a while now. They've moved out of the apartment in San Myshuno and they now live in a little house in Newcrest. And they're ready for a baby. So I thought it would be an appropriate follow-on from playing with a load of realistic mods to do a pregnancy edition. So today we are going to be playing through a pregnancy in The Sims 4 whilst using a few mods intended to make pregnancy more realistic. If you like the look of any of the mods I use, I'll list them in the video description and I'll let you know as I'm using them which mods they are. But first things first, we should actually get to the, the point of actually trying for a baby, you know? So I feel like we should probably start there. We already have a baby room ready, which is, I guess, a bit creepy, but what can I say? They really want a baby. They've been trying for a while. One thing I am going to do to influence their chances is I'm going to go into Pregnancy and Family, which is a pie menu that comes with the Woohoo Wellness mod. I'm going to go into Kate's status and change her pregnancy risk, because at the moment it's 25% chance of her getting pregnant by default. I'm going to change that to 100% chance, so that any time she woohoos with anyone, she's pretty much guaranteed to be pregnant. And also, I'm going to go into Define Pregnancy Wish, just to make sure that she wants a baby. Sometimes sims are randomly generated with these and they might be neutral or they might not want a pregnancy right now. I've had quite a few sims get knocked up when they didn't actually want one. So Kate actually would love to have a baby right now. So this should mean that she's pretty much guaranteed to get knocked up by this little rendezvous. Oh, that's right, guys. So sweet. So sweet. No protection was used. Good. That's the way we like it. All right, Kate, go and take a pregnancy test. Give me the good news. Most of the mods I'm using are probably more handy for like second trimester onwards. Hey, Kate's pregnant. Great success. But the Woohoo Wellness mod does come in handy for the early stages of just getting to grips with pregnancy. So now we know she's pregnant, we can go and share our big news. I'm sure Osamu will be thrilled. Did he want children? He's got spa membership. <laughs> That's funny. He's pretty neutral towards having children. Okay, so he won't be upset or anything. So there are loads of options I have here. And the options you get are different depending on what your sim wants. So if your sim didn't want to have a baby, then a lot of these wouldn't be so positive. I know this one isn't particularly positive, but a sim that didn't want a pregnancy, for example, wouldn't be able to enthuse or organize to provide for the baby. Or anything like that. But she can worry about putting on baby weight. I mean, that's a pretty reasonable concern, I'd say. We also do need to organise to provide for the baby. I mean, Osamu, you got to pick up some extra shifts, probably. If we're bringing a little bundle into the world. We could also, if we really wanted to add a little bit of drama, we could tell Osamu that he didn't father the child. Or we could tell him that he did father the child, but even then it would be... Kind of like telling him we cheated, you know, if we actually felt the need to even tell him that. I noticed that Kate's got a mood buff from talking about she's worrying about getting fat. This little buff here, no need to worry from expressing worries. Kate's partner doesn't seem worried at all about her hypothetical pregnancy weight gain. They love her no matter what. So all in all, things are seeming pretty good for Kate in her first trimester. So I can, if I want to, discover the baby's birth gender. I'm not going to do that because even though I could do that with the Woohoo Wellness mod, I do actually have the, um, the ultrasound mod by Little Miss Sam and I would prefer to find out the baby's gender by going to an ultrasound and actually getting the scan. 
So I could find out the baby's gender without that ultrasound mod, but I would rather go for that one. But I can go and buy something for the upcoming baby. I could maybe go buy a little toy or something. So I might send her off now to go and pick up a little toy. Something to prepare. And how about you, Usamu? You could probably do something to prepare. Maybe you could go buy something for the baby too. Send you both out there. See you later. Have fun at the store. And then when she comes back, she'll have something in her inventory. And so will him. So will he. Usually they come back with like a little toy. Oh, what did she get? Oh, they each bought a toddler bed. <laughs> okay, that's not quite what I had in mind. I thought they would just come home with one of those little Triceratops toys, but I guess not. And from Osamu's point of view, he also has his own interactions that he can do with Kate. Like share worries about the pregnancy, question being the father. He could even ask her to do a paternity test if he doesn't believe that he is the father. But I think we're going to send them to an early parenthood class instead so that they can prepare for taking care of a little bundle. He looks very focused, learning about important stuff from ongoing parenthood class. The class was fast and Osamu didn't retain as much information as he hoped, but it was still helpful enough. Okay, great. But Kate seemed to have done a bit better there. Kate retained a lot of information from the early parenthood class. It makes the prospect of having a baby in her care less daunting. Oh dear. Shit, I think Kate might have a, a problem. Something strange going on down there. For some reason, Kate is having some pain while peeing lately. Not to mention the odd stuff coming out of places. Hopefully it's just a weird thing. Okay, yeah, that is a bit of a concern there, Kate. It sounds like you might have a WTD. Perhaps you should go get tested. Why don't you go to the doctor? Another mod I have installed is the Cherish Moments uh, for Pregnancy. That one's a bit different to Woohoo Wellness in that I'm not just going to be able to click on Kate and then get her to do things. With Cherish Moments, it just kind of happens spontaneously. So usually from like the second trimester, you start to notice Sims get really bad morning sickness. And then if they have a morning sickness mood buff, they can talk to their partner about it and be like, oh, I've been feeling like shit and it's all your fault. So the Cherish Moments um, Pregnancy Edition does give you new interactions, new mood buffs, and a few new um, gameplay features, but nowhere near as, as extensive as the Woohoo Wellness. So with Cherish Moments, it's, it's a nice to have one, but it's not a complete pregnancy overhaul. What are you playing there, Osamu? Playing Elden Ring? Kate has been diagnosed with chlamydia. <laughs> Kate has been diagnosed with gonorrhea. Kate has been diagnosed with an asymptomatic case of gonorrhea. Fucking hell, Kate. Osamu is calling to find out if you want to go on a date, yet he's right there. Diagnosed with chlamydia. Now I'm guessing she will just automatically take her, her treatments as and when she needs to. In case you're wondering, although it doesn't actually have anything to do with pregnancy, the, uh, the WTDs are also a part of the Woohoo Wellness mod. It's quite a big overhaul, so... If you get this mod with all the baby stuff, you're also going to get the WTD stuff as well. Kate took medication. Okay, good, good. Right, guys, I think it's probably a good time to go and get some shut-eye. Aw, she's happy in new life within from pregnancy. Sometimes Kate is overwhelmed with delight at the feeling of her baby growing within. She can't wait for it to be born. So I think that one is the cherished moments. Cherished moments just give you random mood buffs at any time. I think, anyway. That's generally how I tell the difference. Usually, woohoo wellness mood buffs happen after a certain action, whereas cherish moments, they happen spontaneously. That's, quite, that's why I quite like having both of them. Go and use the bathroom, then. Don't just sit on the bed. Did you just piss yourself? Oh, Kate. Go and have a bath, then. You should be embarrassed. She's, like, holding her head underwater from the humiliation. Yeah, you should be. Treated for chlamydia, day one. Treated for gonorrhea, day one. Is she gonna tell him that she's got um, WTDs? Because if she has them, he probably has them too. So let's just get that out the way. Let's just go and tell him that we have got chlamydia and gonorrhea. And then we'll also tell him that he should probably go get tested himself. Oh, he's crying. He's pissed off. Oh, they took it well. Okay, good. So he wasn't he wasn't too upset about that. That sucks from partner's temporary WTD. Okay, so he's not like annoyed or anything. I mean, he couldn't be annoyed anyway. We probably did get it from him. All right, Kate, let's let's go back and get some more sleep. 
Osamu has been diagnosed with chlamydia. Osamu has been diagnosed with asymptomatic case of gonorrhea. Okay, so he does have the same thing then. Well, at least we're treating it. Oh dear, she's having a pregnancy mood swing, irritable. Don't talk to Kate right now. Also, everything better be exactly where it's supposed to be and work exactly as it's supposed to. The slightest thing out of line will make Kate blow up in a fit of irritation. Ah, oh, the joys of hormones and expecting a child. Is she still in her first trimester? Yeah, we've got eight hours before we get to our second trimester. So I'm thinking when we get to our second trimester, what we'll do is we'll go to the gynecologist and get a scan, find out what we're having, and then maybe we'll throw a baby shower. Wait, what are you doing? Don't make yourself a cocktail, Kate. You're pregnant. Oh, looks like she's gagging a little bit. You feeling a bit sick there, Kate? Music for development. Listening to music while pregnant. Kate can't help but smile as she listens to music with their unborn baby. Oh, that's kind of cute. It'd be good if there was an option for her to, like, talk to her stomach. I've noticed she does need to use the loo, like, all of the time. She's just got a flirty mood buff turned on from being pregnant. The flood of hormones is making Kate feel very aroused. Well, you both have WTVs, so you better not act upon it. Instead, why don't you just enthuse about your pregnancy? Explain how happy and excited you are to meet your little bundle. Uh-oh, we haven't been paying our bills. Been too preoccupied. We're trying to provide for this baby. It's what every first-time mum needs. Face mask, rose petals, and a bubble bath. Okay, we're in our second trimester now. And one thing that you might notice are these little stretch marks here. So this isn't so much of a mod, it's more um, a creator sim item, but it does help when it comes to making pregnancies look a bit more realistic. So I'll leave a link in the video description to where I got this. If you also want to have these realistic looking stretch marks for your pregnant sims. Hey Osamu, why don't you go and feel the baby? That would be quite sweet. Aww. Yeah, I just think having the stretch marks just makes a difference, you know? I think it just looks better on pregnant sims. Why don't you guys have just a little kiss? Perfect. And then maybe we'll see if we can visit the gynecologist. Now that we're in our second trimester, we should be able to go visit the gynecologist and find out what we're gonna have. Let's go. See you later, guys. Best of luck. Visit the gynecologist, okay. So when they come home, they'll come home with an ultrasound scan. So she has it in her inventory, so I should be able to hang it up. Okay, so I can see straight away that there's just one baby in there. And if I hover over it, it says, Patient Kate Richards. The patient named above is pregnant with one baby. It will most likely be a boy. She even has a little mood buff. Exciting news. It's exciting to find out the gender and number of the upcoming offspring. Now the setting up and decorating of the nursery can begin. I'm sure he will love his nursery. Now I'm thinking when you get out the bath, she has made a few friends since the last time we saw her. So I might just throw her a little baby shower. So before I go into her phone and plan an event, I'm just gonna check my build and buy and see what objects we can place down that are baby shower themed. So this is the baby shower mod by Shenanigans. So again, if you also would like to throw your sims a baby shower, I'll leave a link in the video description so that you can get all the stuff you need. It comes in two separate pieces. There's one that's the actual event, and then the other one is like baby shower stuff. So I'm having a look through here, guessing, because I think there's like balloons and stuff. Oh yeah, like this little table here. I think this mod was actually originally created by Brit Pinky Sims, but then Shenanigans just kind of updated it. Okay, so I added some of the um, objects that you get with the baby shower mod. You get quite a few, like, ceiling balloons, some bunting, more balloons, a little table, sashes, and some presents. So, Kate, you're out of the bath. What do you say? We plan a social event. Specifically, a baby shower. Okay, we'll do the baby shower. Kate can be the host. And we'll invite all the girls and we'll just do it at home. Perfect. So the baby shower is underway. Osamu, I think you can do everyone a favor and rustle up a little cake for everybody. Maybe like a nice, uh, a nice chocolate cake for everyone. There we go. You can rustle up a cake and then Kate 
you can come and view your presence and then maybe we'll play some music. Maybe like backyard music. Why is everyone going upstairs? Ladies, the party's down here. Okay, so let's share our big news with this sim right here. Oh, she can talk about the ultrasound scan. Okay, let's share our big news. And then I'll invite her to feel the baby. Okay, I'm going to have to get these sims in a group. Because for some reason, are they all on the computer? Is that what the problem is? They're all, they've all decided to come into the office. That is fucking annoying. Okay, there we go. So some of the ladies are starting to come down now. Okay, let's share our big news. Why, why has this event been going on for a while now and you still have not shared your big news with anyone? Like, what, what's your actual problem? Why are you not doing that? Why won't you share your big news with anyone? You're being really annoying. Share your big news. Okay, so I'm thinking, Osamu, you can come and tend the bar or just make, make drinks for some of the ladies. Why have you still not shared your big news with anyone? For God's sake, share your big news. Pain in my ass. Oh, she can complain about morning sickness. <laughs> so she is sharing her big news, but unfortunately, the, I don't think the event is really recognizing it because the only way she can share her big news is through the Woohoo Wellness mod. But she can get them to feel her baby through the friendly interactions. So there is that. Let's go complain about our morning sickness. Aww, this is quite a cute scene though. Aww. Well, everyone's drinking and he's calling everyone over to have some cake. Morning sickness from being pregnant. Morning sickness can occur at any time of the day. Poor Kate is feeling violently ill as if someone was pushing her insides all around. Aww, poor Kate. I mean, you can still share photos though. It looks like everyone's having a great time. We'll have a little talk about our ultra scan at some point as well. Is everyone having a good time? I'm thoroughly enjoying this, uh, this baby shower, apart from the odd annoyances. Like, for some reason, when I get her to view the presence, it doesn't acknowledge it. And also, I can't share my big news, because sharing my news is through the woohoo wellness. Looks like she's craving some food. She's got back pain. The weight of the baby is pulling on Kate's back. She's craving un she's craving healthy food. How odd to crave uncooked carrots and iceberg lettuce. Pregnancy really does a number on you. Relentless cravings. It's only complaining about cravings could make them go away. Okay, well, I think that's going to be the end of this baby shower. Kate's in a bit of a bad mood. The baby shower was great. The guests had a wonderful time and left a nice present for the baby in your household inventory. Ooh, okay, well, I'll take a look at that. Ah, oh, it's a giant unicorn and a, a rainbow shelf. How cute. Okay, I'm going to put all this baby shower stuff back in my inventory. Wow, this place is a mess. Osamu, you should really clean up. Well, you know what? She's almost in her third trimester, but actually, there isn't really much else in terms of realistic pregnancy mods I have to show you other than the actual uh, giving birth part. So I might just pop her in labor now and then we can play with the realistic birth mod, which again, as I said, I will link in the video description. Okay, so Kate is now in labor. So one thing that will help her through her labor pains is probably gonna be sitting on the exercise ball, just trying to relax. So the birth mod comes with all these animations that make birth more realistic. I mean, you can see she's not exercising to exercise. Her waters have just broken. She's just kind of trying to breathe her way through the pain. I hope that's helping, Kate. Baby kick. Kate's baby is healthy. Oh, hang on. Kate's baby is healthy and active, but she sure felt that. Hospital time from early labor. Could it be true? Is this happening? Kate doesn't know what to do or what to think. She realizes that her calm and relaxed birth is quite simply going the way of the dodo. I mean, one thing I should have done, which I forgot to do, is she needs to ask her husband to accompany her to the birth. Ask to accompany childbirth. Okay, perfect. And then once he says yes, we will head to the hospital. Stop dancing, Kate. This is serious. So I think she's asking the question, you want to come to the hospital with me? Of course I will be there for you, honey. Great. Well, let's go have the baby at the hospital. I will join her, of course I will. And we'll be taking Osamu with us. 
Okay, so first things first, we need to ask to check our dilation. So let's go find out how dilated we are. Okay, so I think he's going to check how far dilated she is and whether she's ready to have this baby yet. Let's take a look. Are we dilated enough? You are currently one centimetre dilated. Okay, we still have a while then. Well, she's holding her stomach a lot. We've got a, a way to go before we can have this baby, I think. Wait, what are you doing? No, do not give birth this way. Yeah, no, we are not doing that. We are not doing that. We will instead see if we can have an epidural. Just give me a moment and I'll be right over to give you the epidural. Be sure to stay very still during the process and it will be over before you know it. Okay, I think he's going to give me the needle now. Shouldn't hurt too much. Okay, should we check how, how many centimetres dilated we are now? Uh-oh, from receiving an epidural. Something doesn't feel right. Kate is only feeling numbness in half of her body and she's still in pain. It's best to let the obstetrician know if there's anything that can be done about it. Okay, we're back home, not at the hospital, because I forgot to do something very important. So with the realistic birth mod, you have to call obstetrician to confirm what kind of birth you're going to have. And you can call them when you're in your second trimester. So we can choose whether she has birth, whether she gives birth via the surgery machine, natural delivery, or C-section. So we're gonna go for a natural delivery, and we're gonna choose this option, so hopefully now it means that when she is in labor, I'm going to pop her in labor right now. That should hopefully mean that there would be an obstetrician there instead of the doctor. So let's see. Welcome to the clinic. Feel free to make yourself comfortable and ask for one of our obstetricians. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, I'm doing it properly this time. Okay, great, great. So we can replace the epidural because it didn't work properly. We'll ask Brooklyn to replace the epidural for us. Whoa, from water breaking. Kate's water just broke and a huge amount of water came out. For a second, Kate thought she had peed herself. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, you're well, going to have a Christmas baby. Your baby's going to be born on Christmas Day. She could go for a walk to try and induce labour. But I think, seeing as we had a failed epidural, if we get it replaced, then... Um, Probably not going to be a good idea to start walking around. We'll just have to relax until it's time to give birth. So hopefully this obstetrician does it the right way this time. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me try replacing it to see if it helps. Yeah, that's right. Failed epidural is not much fun. And then we may as well check how dilated we are. Hopefully we're more than one centimetre. How dilated am I? You're currently two centimetres dilated. Try exercising on a birthing ball or take a walk to induce labour. Well, I can't really do that because you just gave me an epidural, so... So I guess now we wait until we are ready to have this baby. Maybe I will send her for a walk if it's going to get her baby going. Pain relief from receiving epidural. The epidural has kicked in, each contraction becoming less and less painful. Kate feels she might be able to get a good nap before it's time to push. Well, I don't know, Kate. Who knows? I think she's going to have a, a little sleep before the baby comes. And then maybe we'll get our dilation checked again. You want to check my dilation again? See if I'm ready to push? Because I'm ready to go, Doc. Don't tell me it's still only two centimetres. Okay, currently five centimetres. Great. Well, let's have a, a little sleep. See if that makes a difference. Oh, good thing Kate took her gonorrhea and chlamydia medication. Well done, Kate. Check my dilation again, Doc. Been here hours. Ready to get this baby out. Is he asleep on the bench? Yeah, of course he is. Okay, can you check now? You're currently eight centimetres dilated. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, go for another walk. Go for another walk. Let's try and turn that eight into a ten. It's almost time. Okay, so she's already laying down, ready to give a natural birth. From active labour. Kate is almost ready to give birth. She's in a fairly relaxed state and is starting to feel the urge to push. She will be in labour very soon. Oh, and here we are, laying on the bed, ready to go. You better get here and watch this baby being born. I noticed there's really sweet baby music. She's got her legs open, look. Oh, what a snag. You can see the pain in her face. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't look fun. I wouldn't want to be her right now. But she's doing well. She's doing well. You can sort of see the outline of her holding her legs open. You're doing great there, Kate. Phenomenal job. 
You could have just had an easy ride of it and laid in a surgery and had a doctor pick it out, but, you know, you wanted a realistic life and I gave you a realistic life, so you're welcome. We had a baby boy, little baby Mitchell. Perfect. Congratulations, the doctor has prepared the birth certificate. Okay, great, so that'll be in her little inventory, won't it? Ah, a brand new family. He seems pretty stern-faced, doesn't he? You wouldn't have thought he just had a child, would you? Ah, oh, well done, Kate. You did a real good job there. Well done. Well done. Well, there you go. That is a realistic pregnancy from start to finish. What kind of mods do you use for your Sims pregnancy? Also, you may notice she's actually put on a little bit of baby weight. That's right. That's what happens when women have children. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. Let me know what mods you use for pregnancy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.